All right, just doing a quick video to show how I've got the end stop set up here. So here at the top, um, you can see this X, Y, and then Z is my white right here. So I don't know if you can see it in here easily because I've got them coiled up, but um, it, I don't think it matters too much if you want to get too technical. Maybe just keep them. So, you know, this is X, Y, Z motors. So I just keep the same X, Y is the blue, and then Z is the white. And your Z probe that goes actually on the head, which I actually took off, I'll explain that in a second here, goes on the head that goes between your Y and your Z end stops here. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have a, um, uh, you can't see, sorry. I'm trying to see if I can come around this way. I don't know if you can. Anywho, there's a, there you'll see there's an open one you're going to leave one open. Sorry, guys, this is horrible. And then, so the first one is actually in the, the number two slot. And then you skip another one. And then that's your Y. And then your Z probe goes in between your Y and your Z. If that makes sense at all. And we're going on the outside, so I don't know if you can tell. But there. Uh, sorry, guys, this is horrible, man. But... Anyhow, that's that. Actually, let's bring this guy off. That's a little better. So you can see I'm actually that that one that pin that's left open there. That is for um, your negative, I think. So it's actually going in the signal and the power side there. So that's that. Um, so my Z probe, I actually took off. Because what was happening <clears throat> is this guy here wouldn't provide enough tension to keep this thing forced down. So as it moved throughout the bed, it would actually tilt. And so, of course, that throws your printing all off. It's horrible. So I stuck this guy in there to hold it down permanently, lock it in place. You're going to have to tune the guy manually. No more G29. No more auto leveling. Okay, you got to get rid of that. Get away from it. And so I designed these guys specifically for this printer and this, you know, the bed just pushes down the spring and then you can just tweak these, these right here to go, hold on buddy. And then you can just tweak those and actually level the bed mechanically and whatnot. And you can adjust your box, your um, end stops there as well. So as far as the firmware, you don't, you shouldn't really have, the only thing you got to touch the firmware on is your z-bed height um so you find out you know it, you may put the bed on and tweak it and you try and go to zero and it's just mashing into the bed or you go to zero and it's not going all the way down um, so that tells you you got to figure out you know okay if i go negative two on the z level then it goes closer to the bed you know what i mean so then you got to increase your z-bed height or if you find out okay actually one is touching the bed not negative one but positive 1.3 that's touching the bed then you, of course, you got to adjust the Z height there. So, anyhow, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to connect. And, all right, let's try again. Connect. It thinks about it sometimes. And we're still got a light green. I'm going to try emergency stop there. That normally does this sometimes. It gets finicky. All right, now I'm connected, so I'm gonna go up here, manual control. So I can do my G28. I'm gonna watch what I, when I hit enter here. It's just gonna go up, hits each one and clicks, and then hits each one again to make sure it knows. I do not do a G29. I took that out of my slicer settings. Do not do a G29 because I took that Z probe off, so it's gonna just jam itself into the bed. <clears throat> and I'm just not gonna like it, so anyhow. That's my recommendation. Just make sure you've got all your end stops in place here. You don't even need the G-probe. Uh, I might as well unplug that one, the black one here. But, so, X, Y, Z, okay? The first one's empty. There's my X is my green. Y is my blue. And Z is my white. And I'm skipping each one. So there's an empty slot between each one. So check out um, the forums and check out the wiki for the rep wrap 
wiring as well for what the end stops are supposed to go. I'll, I'll try and post a link in the YouTube Excuse video. Me, Daddy. All right, thanks, guys. Excuse me, Daddy.